Hello, this is my first impression of Ionic 5. Uh, it's not about review with numbers. It's about my personal feelings. Um, so I took this car to Seoul Art Center to film it. And the purple structure that you see there, that's supposed to be a hat from Chou Sun Dynasty. Uh, whatever is gonna make you easy to remember the name, you know. And there's another structure that looks like Kat, which is mm, a good way to remember is G-O-T, like I got it. Um, yeah, so it, it's a hat or a hat worn by noble class during Zhou's, time, Zhou's dynasty. I don't know why, you know, somebody who designed it put it here at the art center. But I think this car is another form of art. I'm sure there were many people spending hundreds of hours designing, engineering, making, and campaigning for this vehicle. Um, so I am not going to talk about torque, acceleration, speed, and how much, how long it took to charge. I am just gonna talk about my feeling about driving and looking at this art when you when I see this video all I see is those wheels they're massive I mean that's what stands out to me and one thing that's unique about and this car is unlike any other vehicle that I have ridden in I'm just gonna say that right off the bat and I have ridden in um, many different types of EV and I plan to do more reviews I, I look forward to driving EV cars uh, but this was different I mean it's like that glove compartment that this car has it's like a drawer it's not a traditional glove compartment but it's like a drawer that you have at your home and you know for the first time I could see myself driving this car while I am uh, camping or driving around different areas of the world uh, I hear you can power your appliances to the battery but when I first got into this car I was a little bit disappointed because I expected something fancy but like the dashboard it was simple and the back side the back seat looked boxy the car mm, and I thought oh gosh what was I you know I saw BTS doing commercials with the music and I saw all these reviews and when I got in I'll be honest disappointment <laughs> and then I thought huh I guess I have to write it to see what the hoopla hoop about this car is I got in and I drove it for about 160 kilometers and I can say that I would like to drive it again and I would like to go about 1,000 kilometers driving this car. I went up this hill, and I have gone up this hill with uh, Kia K3, Tucson, I think Sorrento, Sonata, and they, Tucson performed well, but other cars I had to hit the gas to the floor to get up. With this car, it was like, what hill? <laughs> it was easy going up, and it felt like a tank. I felt like I was in a tank. I haven't been inside a tank, but which means it felt safe, comfortable, uh, like nothing could hurt me if I'm driving this car. That's what it felt like. And it was really easy to maneuver. And I did charge this at a super um, charging station. There's one in Korea, and that was mm, very futuristic, modern looking. And I'll, I'll do a review or my impression on that and I'm so glad my mother got a chance to ride this car with me and she had the same feeling she said it was like unlike any other car she has ridden in because I think for the first time and oh here's another Ionic 5 on the road and I decided to take a picture I think for the first time she realized that many good things will come in the future to make her life feel comfortable and it's nothing to be afraid of and I think she thought, well, you know, this car is so simple and easy to operate. 
maybe she doesn't have to give up driving because she drove in America for a long time and she thought she might have to because of her age. Anyways, well, thank you.